On deck today, we have a very special guest here in New Delhi, Rosandra Silviera from Dell. What a pleasure to have you with us on the show. I'm super honored to be here. It's always great to be with this amazing team and in this incredible country. And what brought me here today is to be part of the new products being launched with the M18, X16, and the new wings from 16 that we just announced. So it's an incredible new lineup of products. It's an incredible new lineup of products. And more importantly, it's a fascinating opportunity here in India because it's perhaps one of the most peculiar and unique markets yes. out there. A very price conscious consumer who wants a lot of features. Is that something with the omni-channel approach that you guys have adopted here in India? That's, is that something that's been paying good rewards for Dell globally? Yeah, um, obviously. So talking about India market first. So um, India market is still is 50% bigger now in the forecast mm -hmm. versus pre-pandemic. So it's, it's a market that still has a lot to grow. And globally, to your question, if you see the number of PCs we have in the market compared to countries like US, mm -hmm. we still have a lot of headroom to grow, and which will help you know, driving, driving a lot of new initiatives and progress and innovation in this market. So it's exciting, exciting to be here, and uh, exciting with our approach and strategy. As you said, the Omni Channel, we are literally in every corner of this country with our omni channel approach, approach between Dell exclusive stores, mm -hmm. uh, multi-brand outlet, online and offline presence. So it's fantastic. You know, there's a huge interest for gaming in the country and it's just growing yes. like wildfire. But what's interesting is in the pandemic, a lot of us purchased a lot more products. Now, especially if you look at the last quarter, we've seen shipments slowing down, mm -hmm. a sort of decline in sales as well, not just for Dell, but for the larger mm -hmm. Indian market when we're talking about PCs and laptops. So when you look at that sort of a phenomena, do you think that's something that is a storm that will be weathered uh, in a short span of time and then we'll be back to normal? Or, or does it call for more innovation from the likes of Dell and, and other players in the market? I think both, right? It will certainly uh, drive more innovation naturally mm -hmm. because the customers are eager to see more innovation. But in the market, it's still above pre-pandemic levels. Mm -hmm. So we have a spike during the pandemic, but it's still higher than pre-pandemic. And the total installed base now is bigger than it was before. Mm -hmm. So there is still opportunity to have those customers upselling, refreshing, getting more technology. So I'm very optimistic what this market has ahead. And so when we're talking about innovation, it's, it's kind of interesting because we've seen how a lot of other tech companies are now building on one word, a catchphrase being the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm curious to know how Dell on the product side, and since you know, you, you're managing retail for them globally, what are the kind of insights you are getting from consumers across the world in markets like India? And then what does that mean in terms of product innovation when you do coordinate with maybe the research and development teams? Yeah, so we are bringing now when you look at the M18, for instance, mm -hmm. We are bringing an 18 inch back to the gaming market because we listen to our customers. And then we could bring an 18 inch, which has the latest in graphics, the latest in CPUs, uh, an amazing thermal system that will allow the gamers to play for hours and hours and hours, dissipating well the heat. Mm -hmm. But all that 18 inch, pretty much in an almost 70 inch size because we narrowed the bezels. Yes. So that's innovation that is right here available and we keep working we are right now discussing our roadmap for the next three to five years mm -hmm. and a lot of amazing stuff is about to come as well are we going to see more products apart from just pcs and laptops is dell going to venture we into are other always places? considering new possibilities yeah always considering rosandra it's uh, it's a very unique time in the tech world globally right uh, we've seen job cuts all over the world and in dell's case it was because you know, the PC market had slowed down globally. Mm -hmm. It comes back to my question on when we have fantastic products and innovation like you're speaking about, but then what does a company like Dell need to do to really stand out and have a unique approach? Omnichannel is something you mentioned. Are there mm -hmm. other things that Dell uh, really needs to do to capitalize on markets like India? Well, we are always putting the customer in the front of everything we do, mm -hmm. everything we do. So we are always incorporating customer feedback. We are obsessed about getting all kinds of customer insights and it can be ratings and reviews, it can be our uh, ADR arena, all the communities and mm -hmm. having a system to capture that and incorporate this in our strategy 
and also in our product launches. Mm -hmm. So then when you see a product like, like you're launching now or stores or the way we, we go to market here in India is founded based on all those customer insights and mm -hmm. how we incorporate their feedback. And that's end to end, that, uh, that goes beyond PCs, mm -hmm. that in, uh, in incorporates also the, all the accessories they can use with, the services, the warrant we offer, and we continue committed to that customer all the way into the lifetime of a product. And I'm guessing that's not a one-size-fits-all approach when you're looking at the global market, right? India, like I said, is very unique with a price-conscious consumer. Are there certain recipes or is there a secret sauce to cracking the Indian market, so to speak? Yeah, um, so I, I directly manage more than 10 countries and each country is unique in, it, in its own way. Mm -hmm. And I'd say that makes India more unique is still the opportunity we have ahead in terms of the low PC penetration mm -hmm. and how we, uh, we want to help this journey to bridge the digital gap. Mm -hmm. um, India consumers, they are very knowledgeable and aware about technology mm -hmm. and same as they, they value the money. So they're looking for value, not mm -hmm. necessarily the low price in itself, but uh, having a good value for what they are buying. And that's what we're looking for, listening to them and offering a great solution that will keep us as the most trusted brand, mm -hmm. right? It's something we're very honored and proud to be. Um, and a result of how much we consider customer in everything we do and that we'll continue doing. So the way to stand out is keeping that relationship, keeping putting customer first and not honoring um, the trust the customers are giving us. Could you just give us some more perspective on like you said, India is a very important market with low PC penetration, mm -hmm. so clearly there's scope for growth. But when you look at the Indian market vis-a-vis -vis the other markets around the world, how is the India business performing for Dell, especially on the PC side, vis-a-vis -vis the other markets? Um, well, India's performing you know, pretty well. Um, I, I cannot go to specifics mm -hmm. on Indian market. I can tell you globally, we had a record revenue year last year. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you that India is a very, very important market. It's one of the top markets we have. Mm -hmm. Giving you some numbers, if you compare, India market is a 6 million units PC market. Mm -hmm. US is 28 million units PC market a year. Mm -hmm. Now you compare the population, US and India. So that's the size of the opportunity in the market. Mm -hmm. Is there going to be, going forward, a big focus on gaming when we consider what Dell's doing globally? Let's, let's zoom out from the Indian market for a bit, because I think that's a space which, which Gen Z and millennials are really fascinated with, yes. and it's growing in exponential ways. Yeah, and, and I believe the uh, gaming market here is growing 20 to 30% every mm -hmm. year, right? Mm -hmm. um, and that's what we invest a lot as part of the strategy, where we can bring even more innovation. So yes, gaming is a priority for Dell globally. And certainly growing game in India is a top priority as well. Well, Rosandra, what an absolute pleasure to have you with us on Tech Today. And we hope that Dell continues to come up with these innovative products. And we see you here in India more often. So do I. Thank you. Thank you.